The ability to export to PowerPoint was introduced in version 9.1. Let's take a look at how to set this up. Here I have a workbook with several sheets, each of which I would like to display in a PowerPoint slide. They include various grids, Excel charts and small multiples. To enable exporting to PowerPoint, go to Workbook Options and under the PowerPoint tab, select Allow Save to PowerPoint Slideshow. I can now define what will be included in each slide of the presentation. Add a slide and select the range in the workbook you wish to display. I can change the order of the slides by dragging the icon. Now I can publish the report to the web. When I open up the report, you can see the download PowerPoint icon. Now as you can see, the presentation displays the ranges that I defined in Excel. I can reformat the cells and resize and move as required. It would be more convenient, however, to have the Excel range automatically scale to fit the slide. I would also like to customise the look of the slide. To do this, we'll first set up a template. PowerPoint files which are available to be used need to be stored in the repository folder on the Excel Cubed web server. There is an example template included as part of the standard install, which you can use as a starting point. However, I have added another PowerPoint which I would like to add my report slides to. There are two types of master slide I have to include in the PowerPoint. These must be named Excel Cubed No Title and Excel Cubed With Title. I can now use this template as the basis for my report presentation. Back in Excel, go to the PowerPoint settings and select the template. I can further customise each slide by adding a title. This can be typed in or come from an Excel range. And I can also scale the display range to fit the slide. I will choose to retain the aspect ratio to avoid undesirable stretching. Now, after republishing my report, the slides are added to the end of my presentation, with a formatted title and with the range scale to fit the slide. PowerPoint exporting also supports multi-sheet web printing. Configure this as normal and then enable multi-sheet printing in the PowerPoint settings. I have also modified the title for each slide to be derived from an Excel range which also uses the output of my date slicer, so that after republishing and downloading, I can select which months I want to display. I now have a slide with title and data corresponding to orders in both March and April, and the same for territories.